Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friends, welcome back to my channel In this video we are going to discuss how you can make a tester for TLP 250IC We will discuss data sheet, we will discuss its spin out and how you can make your own test jig to test this IC I applied a test signal through a current limiting resistor how we can calculate the resistor for the input current to drive this LED and how we can calculate the output circuit to connect output LEDs let's start I will request if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel it is TLP250 we will discuss its function its operation and how we can test it it is a question from one of my viewer he asked me how we can test TLP250 TLP350 in this session we will discuss TLP250 it is very commonly used optocoupler IC in VFDs, in inverter ACs, in welding machines, in treadmill circuits it have been configuration like this if we put this number side here TLP250 index pin near the index mark is pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 pin 4 not connected pin 1 not connected pin 5 6 and 7 that is output pin pin 8 that is VCC so basically it is used to drive IGBTs for different power devices power MOSFET gate drive and IGBT gate drives a normal optocoupler works like this when it will receive light it will activate this junction and it will allow to pass the current and it will change its gate biasing and it will change its junction resistor to control the current but here the scenario is different here we have two transistors which are connected in push-pull stage one is NPN transistor the second is PNP transistor it have isolated output when the input is on transistor number one will on so that means VCC positive voltage what is soever from 10 volt to 35 volt which are apply which we can apply here to drive any MOSFET or drive any IGBT these voltage will pass to the output section and when it is off when it will off at that time transistor number 2 will turn on it have a complete circuit inside unlike to a simple optocoupler this have a different circuit it have a complete circuitry in, inside which will detect the light on the gate how much light is there so it ha it will force to latch this transistor to saturate this transistor or saturate this transistor it have just only two conditions in this optocoupler we find a varying resistance of the junction but here no here we will find digital output because to drive IGBT to drive MOSFET we need a pulse signal so this will base on this forward voltage and forward current in this input side at the input LED pin number 2 and 3 so pin number 2 and pin number 3 are input side and this is isolated output side if we see its maximum ratings the forward current for this LED is maximum 20 milliampere above 20 milliampere this optocoupler will damage so we have to take care for the input current typically it is from 7 to 10 milliampere VF of forward input voltage off condition that is less than 0.8 0 volt to 0.8 volt when at the input pin the voltage are less than 0.8 volt it will turn off and the output current it can provide up to 2 ampere maximum the input side that is 7 or 8 milliampere 
but its output MOSFETs can drive up to 2 ampere and the input forward voltage maximum allowed voltage are 1.8 volts. How we can make a test circuit pin 2 pin 3 8 7 6 these are output pins pin 5 ground and this is VCC so we have to connect 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor in these two pins to protect it 100 nanofarad or we can say 0.1 microfarad so this is output we will apply power here at these two pins we will connect a capacitor to pin number 8 this optocoupler IC is very commonly used in inverters in inverter AC boards I will connect this output side to a 12 volt power supply now we applied power at pin number 8 and 5 it is 12 volt now the circuit is off when the input side is off TR2 must be on so we will find the ground voltage in the output when there is no input signal we are finding 11.8 volt in the output and now we will apply input to apply input I will use an other signal it is 5.217 we can say 5.22 volt now we have 5 volt signal here we want to apply a test signal here we have to control the current we have to control the voltage here input forward voltage typical 1.6 volt and the turn off voltage that is 0.8 volt so we will set it approximately 1 volt 1 volt and above we will adjust the voltage minus V L E D divided by I L E D so we will find the resistor value which we will connect in the series of, of this LED so we have 5.2 volt and we want minimum 1 volt and we will increase this voltage by adjusting the resistance and the current we will set minimum 7 milli ampere 5.2 volt minus 1 volt for LED divided by 7 milli ampere 0 0.007 so it is 600 ohms I will use this potentiometer it is 2500 ohms and we will take 600 ohms from this potentiometer we need 600 ohm we will set exact 600 ohms ok 602 you can use the fixed resistor because I am going to test in different conditions so I am using this potentiometer otherwise you can use a fixed resistor of 600 ohms or you can select some current I will connect this potentiometer 600 ohm resistor to pin number 2 I am connecting it to 5 volt supply the second end we will connect to this supply ground to take output I connected this jumper to pin number 6 so that we can connect the multimeter here we applied the signal this time I am taking 11 volt between ground and positive this transistor is on so that we are taking positive voltage that means this gate is now active this diode is active now I am taking voltage between ground and pin number 6 that means this LED is working now so I will increase the resistance to reduce the current because we connected a resistor in series of this LED we have this 
resistor this LED we have two things in series here I applied 5 volt here I apply ground when I will increase this resistor so it will cause to reduce the current of this LED when the LED current will reduce its light will minimize so that the next circuit will turn off this transistor will turn off this transistor will turn on so now I am increasing the resistance because I am increasing slowly slowly we can see the transistor number one that is now turning off and this is this time it is completely turned off now I have to find the voltage between positive and the ground this time here I don't have voltage if we will increase this decrease this resistance and we will turn on the LED this time we are finding the voltage between ground and pin number 6 and here no voltage 722 millivolt why because this transistor on and it is just only 0.7 volt 700 millivolt drop across this transistor so we can say this time the upper side pin number 8 is providing voltage to pin number 6 now I am finding voltage here 10.2 volt I will increase the resistance so this time the voltage are shifted here we can uh, simulate this circuit in other way the maximum voltage 11.65 volt we have in the output we can use two LEDs here we have pin number 6 now we have two sources we can use two LEDs between pin number 8 to 6 pin number 6 and 7 we have this type of output it will provide high or low when the output will high we will find a voltage between pin number 6 and 5 when it will go low then we will find voltage between 6 and 8 so we can use two LEDs to indicate the function of the circuit we have 11.68 volt in the output so we supply 11.68 and we will use 1.8 volt LDD 10 milliampere we have 11.68 volts and I am using 1.8 volt 3 mm LED and I will use 10 milliampere to calculate V supply minus V LED divide by 10 milliampere 988 ohms resistor we will use in series with this LED so 988 it is difficult to find but I am using 1 kilo ohm that is closer to this range 1k so we will connect the positive side to pin number 8 and the second LED we will connect in this direction so 1k resistor we will use in series I am making uh, this circuit as a prototype you can set in some IC socket so that will more good we will connect pin number 6 to the center pin and we will connect between the positive and this side to the ground now we can see I am decreasing the resistance so this LED is on now when I increase the L resistance actually I am decreasing or increasing the voltage at optocoupler input pin if we have some oscillator circuit some test signal we can apply a test signal to this circuit to find the pulses to check the response so I have this oscillator circuit we will connect the both grounds together
and here I will apply positive voltage output of this circuit we will connect to I connected a test signal to this circuit we can see our this optocoupler is now switching 12 volt to this LEDs it is switching between high and low I connected 1k resistor between one LED this is 6 number pin and this is 8 number pin and we connected second LED 1k resistor to pin number 5 pin number 5 is connected to ground and this pin is connected to 12 volt if you want to make a circuit for this oscillator the video the link of this video is in the description or you can watch the video number displayed on the screen to create your own test signal you can place this IC in any socket and you can test this TLP250 very easily I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question kindly let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh